My values as a democratic socialist are rooted in the belief that both the economy and society should be run democratically for the benefit of the many and not to make profits for the few. Our NHS, the welfare state, our schools, our public services, our railways and our postal service, these are all examples of socialism in action. They weren't created by private enterprise. However, decades of new liberal economics and our failed privatisation model means that a Labour government firmly rooted in socialist principles is now desperately needed more than ever before. Let's look at our railways, for example. We need a Labour government to renationalise our railways so that profits go to benefit the UK taxpayer, not foreign governments. We do not need competition in the railway industry because it's a natural monopoly. If, if I don't like the service on board Virgin from London to Manchester, I can't go with, with Southern to Brighton instead because I want to be in Manchester. Similarly, the Royal Mail is another natural monopoly which was sold for a song with huge profits made by George Osborne's mates. We bought shares on the cheap. The taxpayer lost out about £1 billion in the privatisation of Royal Mail, which is scandalous. Hundreds of millions of pounds have since been paid out to shareholders since the privatisation of Royal Mail, and hundreds of post offices have been closed, and thousands of jobs have been lost. Once again, a Labour government will take back control of our postal service. The Tories are playing with our children's futures when it comes to schools by introducing academies. A Labour government will take schools back into local authority control. Our public services have been cut to the bone by the Tories to create a small state. A Labour government will invest in our public services will build council houses that are desperately needed. Just like Clement Attlee's socialist government after the Second World War, we will borrow to invest in our infrastructure. We need to fully renationalise re our NHS. We need to send Richard Branson and his Virgin Care packing. Of course, uh, private corporations are important, but we want to bring them under greater democratic control, with an increased role for unions to make private business more accountable and crack down on, on exploitation of workers, such as zero hours contracts. Essentially, we want a society where the many will thrive and prosper.